All right, in this video, this is part eight to KOWP for beginners. And we're gonna start animating these objects, uh, these two pieces here. Um, just a rem reminder to you, uh, watch parts one through seven. And remember now, since we're animating, we can only animate the items that are directly in our root folder. Um, the date and time, we can animate this whole thing down here and we can animate this whole weather thing. We cannot animate individual parts since I have all these parts of weather sitting inside of that. Now, um, to get an idea across to you of what we're going to do here, the way I'm going to animate these objects in this video are going to be based on us scrolling through our screens. And um, notice over here I do have my screen count is set to three. And I'm going to do it for three just for this video. And here's the goal. Let's just call this W for weather. Let's call this stuff T for time. And I'm going to write that on screen two. Because screen two, I want to see my whoops, let me, I got those reversed. I want to see my weather here, just like we see it right there, and I want to see my time. And right now, I have exactly what I want because I'm on screen two of three. Notice if I scroll screen one of three, it's nothing's changing here because we don't have anything animating. As you can see, as I'm scrolling through these screens, nothing's happening. But on, uh, pay, on screen two of three, I have what I want. Here's what I want to see on screen one. I want to see just the time, and I want to see it in the middle. Here's what I want to see on screen three. I want to see the weather only, and I want to see it in the middle. So here's what's got to happen. As we scroll from screen two to screen one, time is going to have to move up to get to the middle. Whereas if we scroll to from screen two to screen three, weather's going to have to move down to get over here. So let's accomplish that first, and then I'll talk about the fading piece. So right now I just want to accomplish, I want to try to see when I go to up here, watch this, when I go to one, Come on now. <laughs> when I go to one, I want to see this time slide up. So let's work on that. So I'm going to go to date and time. I'm going to animation. Remember, you can only animate objects that are directly inside of your root folder. I'm going to add an animation, and I'm going to react on background scroll. So now, I'm on screen two of three. I'm seeing what I want to see. Let's see what happens. Let's just scroll to screen one right now. So I'm scrolling to screen one and notice the time is sliding off. We do have an animation going on. Well, here's what I want. I want to scroll because I mean, notice the object is sliding. I want time to slide up though. And I'm not going to mess with any of these rules just yet, but I'm going to come down here to uh, leave the speed alone for right now. Let's mess with the angle. Let's see what happens if we change our angle to say 90. And because 90, let's see what happens. Okay, 90 slides it off. So right now I'm thinking zero degrees, 90, 180, let's change it to 270. If you're familiar with the unit circle, math folks out there, uh, this will be helpful, but watch, 270. All right, so we're on screen two. I'm seeing what I wanna see, weather and time. Now watch what happens if I scroll to screen one. Check it out, it moves up. Now, that's what I want. I'll talk about how to get rid of weather in a second, but remember, all I want to see in screen one eventually is just the time, but I have it scrolling up like I want it to. Again, I'm on screen two, screen one. Now, do we want this thing to go up a little bit higher because I want it centered? This is where it's a little bit of tweaking with the speed. Let me take the speed up to about, well, check it out. If you're on, notice it is kind of changing as I go through my speed. Let's bump it up to about 125. That'll be good enough. So check it out, screen two, screen one. All right, I got the time doing what I want it to do. Let's do the same thing for weather, except weather has to change from screen two to screen three. Now, if before I do that, let's see what happens if I go to screen three here. Um, notice the time is completely, that's not a bad idea. What I have right there is actually, um, it's gonna get rid of time when I go over there. I don't even have to worry about the fading thing here. I'm still gonna talk about it nonetheless. Uh, so let's work on weather. Back in our route, let's go to weather. Let's apply an animation to the weather. And let's do it based on background scroll. All right, so scroll. Now we're on two. Let's see what happens if we go from screen two to screen three. So I'm on two. If I scroll to three, um, it's moving, but it's not moving how I want it to move. Um, let's try the 90 degree thing again and see what happens. The angle. All right, it looks like it's moving up on me. Because look, here's screen two. When I go to screen three, I want the weather to go down to the middle. And 
Oh, okay, I screen one, my bad. Screen two, I'm on screen three. So it's going in the opposite direction. So now we have 0, 90, 180, 270 um, to get down here to the middle. So let me bump this on up. Oh, almost landed right on it. All right, two, so 270. Look, screen three, screen two, screen one. Okay, now we are going to have to do some tweaking because the weather's not. Now, notice the time. So, time is showing on screen one. The weather's not completely going away. Um, here's screen two, both of them are showing. Screen three. Um, I like where the speed at 100, we could actually back that up a little bit, but that looks pretty centered to me. I'm not going to mess with the speed of the weather. But we got to do some tweaking here. Um, so back on screen two, screen one. I got to get rid of this weather. So I'm still, I'm good with this animation that we just did. So we have an animation where you can add even more. Now here's what I want weather to also do. When I go to screen, from screen two to screen one, I want the weather to go away. So Really, what we want to apply here is when we take this weather, when we scroll over to screen one, we want it to fade. How can we make this thing fade? Well, let's add another animation to our weather. So, react on, background scroll. Now, I don't want it to scroll anymore. I want this thing to fade out. Now, let's see. Let's just go ahead and test it and see what happens. So, I'm on screen two. If I scroll to screen one, it is fading out. Now, but what's going to happen if I go to screen three? It's fading out again, and it's only doing it, uh, yeah, it's fading out all the way. But um, I don't want it to fade out on page three. Notice on page three, I want to see just the weather. So we can do some tweaking here. Now, here's what we can do. Um, down here at rules, I'm going to keep this on center. And let me go to center screen. I'm going to, now, even though the center screen is, is set, Right now, the center screen is two. We can actually change it. Let's change it to screen one and see what happens. Uh, okay, so screen one. Now if I go to screen three, screen two. Okay, it's fading in on screen one. Let's change this. Okay, screen one fade out. Okay, let's go to rules. And let's do it. after center. Okay, let's see what happens here. So I'm fading out after the center, my center screen, I'm technically saying my screen is, center screen is screen one. Well, look, we're on screen one, I do see my time only. Let's see what happens. Scroll over to screen two, bam, it's coming in, and you have to tweak these. I mean, it says fade out, it, and see this is what confuses me sometimes. I'm thinking it should fade out after the center screen, and I have my center screen set to screen one. It's not doing that per se, but I mean, if you notice that the weather's not going away. My weather is in the center on screen three. If I scroll over to screen two, it slides up, so it's going back and forth between here. Now if I go to screen one, it's fading out. And that's what I want to happen, because I want to see just my time. And that's good. That's what I want. Um, actually, what we have right now, this is working just fine because when I go over to screen three, the time is sliding all far enough. However, if you were to make this time a little bit bigger, if we did this move to screen three, time still may be hanging out up here. Um, just like kind of like what I did back here before I applied the fade to my weather. See how the weather, you can still see the box. So weather's still in there, but it's faded out. That's why we can't see it. So I still want to apply something very similar to my time, just in case you, if your time's a little bit bigger, for example. I mean, mine's this small. If you kept it the same way we originally had it, it might be a little bit bigger. So let's go back to date and time. Let's add an additional animation to this one. So animation, react on, background scroll, and I want it to, I forgot what I did. I think I said fade out for my weather. And I'm going to kind of duplicate it, but I'm going to reverse one thing. Let's do it on uh, center screen. Let's set center screen to three and see what happens. Because I want it to really fade out on center, the third screen. See, right now, I'm on screen two, and it's already faded out on me. So let's do, um, let's see what happens before center. Okay. So I'm on screen two. I'm seeing what I want to see. Let's go over to screen one. I'm seeing what I want to see. Notice the weather did fade out. I'm seeing my time on screen one. So screen two, good. 
whoops, okay, screen two, good. Screen three, bam, okay, did you see that? Do you see it fade out? You can see the 532 fading there. And that's, no matter how big this thing is now, it's gonna fade out and you're not gonna see it when you go to screen three. This right here is doing exactly what I want. However, these little rules down here, again, they confuse me a little bit. Maybe you can understand these a little bit better, but um, I'm having it, I'm thinking this is what, how I understand these rules, it should fade out before we get to screen three. Well, that's technically what's happening here. This thing is fading out right before we get to screen three. So that does kind of make sense um, when you read that. Fade out before we get to screen three, because it's before the center. Whereas, you know, and, and notice those two did stay there, those two animations. Whereas if I go back to weather, let me look at this fade out again. Let me look at this fade out rule. Okay, I want the weather to fade out after screen one. See, that's what, that doesn't make sense because it seems like the weather should be fading out after screen one, but it's not. This is where you're going to have to, you know, do a little bit of trial and error to make sure this stuff is going to work out. And that's why this whole advanced editor, the what you see is what you get, it lets you preview it before you save it and go back to your home screen. But um, this is doing what I want it to do. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and save this. And now another little tidbit to show you. Back on my home screen, let me go ahead and hold down and let me see how many screens I have. Right now I have one, two, I don't have a third one. I need to add a third one. If you don't remember back in an earlier video, if your screen count in KOWP does not match the screen count on your actual home screen, you need, you're gonna to need to fix that and it still might not work right. Look, it's not fading out all the way. Well, the reason why, okay, well, what screen is this? Screen three, screen two. See, none of this stuff is working right. Remember, I mentioned this in the earlier video too match your screens up. Let's reopen KLWP. Um, and let's just resave it. So really, I'm resaving it after I change my screen count. So, okay, right now I'm guessing I'm on screen three. I can't go any more to the right. So here's screen three. Now we're going to screen two. Everything's here. Screen one, bam. That's exactly what I wanted from the beginning of this video. Screen one, I can't go any more in this direction. Notice it does want to fade back in kind of the weather. Um, maybe you can tweak those animation settings to not even have that, but I can't go any more that way. So screen one, screen two, and now watch. I'm gonna move real slow for screen three. Watch the time, whoops, did not mean to do that. Watch the time fade away. See that time fading out? It's sliding down, but it's actually fading out on us too. So that way, if your time piece was bigger and it decided to hang out, <laughs> it didn't scroll down far enough, um, it will fade out and it's not going to be, in this case, in my third screen. But this is your basic, um, we didn't get into uh, any of the other crazy animations such as rotating or, uh, I mean, there's a ton of animations you can do. But I want you to kind of get comfortable with being able to uh, make an object slide or hit scroll and fade in and out in this video. Obviously, as you can see, those rules for center and setting your center screen before center, after center, all that stuff you'll have to tweak to your liking, but um, hopefully this will give you a push in the right direction. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.